Time Capsule, hands-on review. Hey, so if you're new here, I've been torturing my audience by reviewing great products that they can't have because they've been discontinued. Pretty sure my channel's gonna blow up real soon. And today we're talking about Time Capsule, because making one video about a product that you can't buy wasn't enough. And just so you know, it is the solution for backing up your Mac devices. Why is he using a discontinued device that's over a decade old to back up his computer, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because it is hands down the easiest and most future-proof way to do it. Also, because fuck him. That's why. Also, fuck Dave Chappelle. <clears throat> Moving on. So, you know how I said you can't buy these anymore? I lied. So I guess I'm gonna have to back up on that statement. Turns out there are a few of these floating around on the second-hand market. Added bonus that they're way cheaper than they used to be, for some reason. Pfft. Could it be the lingering fear that Apple will stop releasing firmware updates and the product will essentially be bricked in an instant? <laughs> that could never happen. <laughs> ha. Honestly though, I get that using a backup disk this old is probably frowned upon, especially by Apple, and rightly so, but Honestly, even if the drive in the time capsule stops working, I can still use Airport to plug in a bigger drive and keep on trucking. Having said that, even though it is as old as it is, my time capsule works flawlessly. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very invested in this product. And I'm not saying that you should buy a secondhand time capsule, but I am saying that it's brought me nothing but joy and fulfillment. Also, I'm having more sex now, so... And to be clear, this isn't just about reviewing the device. Uh, as making a video that is a part of the hashtag free the time capsule campaign. I've messaged Marquez about it, but he hasn't responded. I'm sure he's dying to get back to me, but he's just busy at the moment. Okay, let's get to the review. This product fucking rocks. For real, guess what? My computer backed itself up like 10 times last week and I didn't have to think about it. Ugh. Things we love. Honestly, setup was remarkably easy. There was some weirdness initially where I noticed that it was still retaining some of the previous owner's Wi-Fi settings, even though they'd assured me that they'd done a factory reset, which they had, I checked. But once we did another factory reset, it popped up in my Wi-Fi menu and it was good to go. So once it's plugged in and of course factory reset, it'll basically show up in your Wi-Fi menu. And if you'd like a tutorial on connecting it, which really you don't need, comment and I'll, I'll link to one. Ultimately, I think this took about 30 minutes to get sorted. And I will just remind you that this device is at least 10 years old and it's still doing its job perfectly. I never have to worry about when I backed up last and I don't have to plug anything into my computer. I just bought a white box and now I can forget about it. Okay, let's talk about things we dislike. I do wish I could maybe give my time capsule to a friend, if that makes any sense. Like, the idea being that in addition to having automatic backups, I could also protect my storage by putting it at a friend's place and have it back up over the internet. You know, in case my house burns down for some reason. I know, I'm just inching closer and closer to the idea of cloud storage, and uh, my rebuttal is mind your own damn business. The other thing that bugged me was backing up on iPhone. So the only thing that isn't perfect about this whole scenario is that I can't get my iPhone to back up in the same way that my Mac does, i.e. automatically connecting to my time capsule via Wi-Fi and backing up by itself. Having said that, I can get my Wi-Fi to connect wirelessly to my MacBook and back it up this way. So it's like nine tenths of the solution. And honestly, I'll take it. Okay. So next we're talking about expanding storage. Uh, this was easy and effective. However, I'm gonna talk about the nuts and bolts of this. So unless you really wanna support the channel, you can go on expanding storage. This turned out to be pretty uncomplicated. Uh, one thing that I should note is that you do need to format whatever drive you intend to use, and you do that, of course, with disk utility. The format would be Mac OS Extended, and I don't think it matters if it's case sensitive or not. Uh, once you've done that, you can just connect your drive to your time capsule and open Time Machine Preferences. Once you've done that, you can just connect your drive to your time capsule and open Time Machine Preferences, and then just hit Select Backup Disks and add your new expansion disk to the device. Now what you've done is taken a boring old backup drive and turned it into a fucking cool Wi-Fi enabled automatic backup king. And as an added bonus, you've probably managed to piss off Tim Apple. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. This is BRBTG, I'm BRB, and as always, I'll be right back.